is the pH of ink in modern formulations something I should consider? If so, is it more of a concern for archiving documents or the health of your pen? Okay, so technically, yes, pH is something that can affect uh, both archivability and um, the health of your pen. Exactly how, I can't really say. pH in either extreme is really not great. If you have really acidic, then it's gonna like eat away your pen and it's not gonna be great for whatever paper that you're using it on. Really basic as well is also not gonna be good. Um, it's also not gonna mix great with other types of ink. So if you aren't cleaning your pen out as thoroughly, um, it can have some mixture issues. Now, here's the, the tough thing about pH. And you'll have to forgive me because I'm really talking a lot and getting thirsty. So give me a second. The extremes of the pH is not really ideal. But the most frustrating thing is the fact that basically no manufacturer tells you what the pH is for any of their inks. So I think it's more of an issue with vintage inks because they used to have inks that were in much more extremes. Um, they now have kind of formulated most modern inks to be just generally a lot friendlier and a lot safer. I hesitate to really say that definitively, and some of you who are kind of vintage ink experts may just completely rip me apart on that. So if you do have a great working knowledge of vintage inks, please do share. I invite you to shoot holes in my theories here um, because I am not an expert in kind of the vintage ink, nor am I a chemist, nor have I done any pH testing on any of the inks I carry to tell any of this stuff. So this is all kind of stuff that I've been from participating in conversations about pH over the years, and I know there's some people who are much more in, like chemists and biologists and stuff like that, that have done some testing of things like on Fountain Pen Network and posted some of their findings. What I can say is that as a retailer and from selling a lot of ink to a lot of individual customers, getting feedback on it, um, I really can't say that there's like any one ink that really is any an extreme and has been kind of an issue or the recurring thing. Um, you know, Noodler's Base State Blue gets a lot of flack. Um, I don't know that it's just a pH thing. It is a little bit higher pH. I think it's a pH around eight or eight and a half. So it is a little bit higher pH, but it's also just kind of a differently formulated ink. So I just, there's an element of mystery around some of these things. So. There, as much as I could talk about pH and stuff like that, it is a little frustrating because we don't really know what these inks have in terms of pH. Manufacturers aren't really coming out with that. You know, uh, other than Noodlers, which um, in their standard line, you know, it says here like, you know, always pH neutral. So in their Noodlers black and like a lot of their standard line, he does advertise that it's pH neutral. Aside from that, I can't really name anything any manufacturer that really says anything about their pH. Doesn't necessarily mean that's not true, it just means that it's not something that's openly advertised because I don't think it's something that most people really take into account. Um, so I guess that's kind of where we stand. You know, and in terms of like permanence and archivability and stuff like that, it's, it's hard to say exactly because, you know, if you think about iron gall ink, which is some of the most permanent stuff you can get, that stuff is extremely acidic. So I don't know that acidity really affects archivability in and of itself. You know, I'm starting to get into an area where maybe I'm not quite as much an expert when we get into ink chemistry. Um, you know, there's certainly people that are more knowledgeable of that. You would think handling as many inks as I do that I would know more of that, but there's more more education that's required to be able to understand that level of stuff and you know kind of t testing with equipment and stuff that I don't have or have access to that would be required to answer this more intelligently. So I'll just go ahead and quit while I'm behind <laughs> talking about that. Um, so given the fact that you have very limited knowledge, uh, I don't think it's anything to be too greatly concerned about. Um, just in general, because if an ink was really that bad these days, you would know about it and it would probably not be offered. <laughs>